Today is the official finale of our Town Hall 9 Let's Play, guys. I've got three days left on this laboratory, or this uh, Town Hall upgrade, and the laboratory will be done in three hours, or more like three minutes, or however long the video takes to film. So, well, okay, it's going to be more than three minutes. They're usually 10 minutes, right? But anyway, uh, this is really a big day, because I'm going to be finishing off this Earthquake spell, likely with 40 gems or so, and then doing the final laboratory upgrade, the Haste spell. I'm also going to be doing the last four trap upgrades, which include two spring traps and two bombs. And then the Town Hall 9 is completely 100% done. And that's amazing. So I'm going to celebrate by wrecking some bases, uh, getting back into Crystal League, because obviously I've taken some defenses and uh, just enjoy life, guys. This is the finale. Next time you see this account, it will be a Town Hall 10. And we will begin the process of, uh, yeah, upgrading heroes and stuff again. Because that's a major part, but uh, also really, really exciting. I love the Inferno Towers. I don't know about you guys, but Town Hall 10 is so fun because the Infernos, especially when they first came out and you weren't able to heal through them. Remember that? I don't know. I, I might be showing my age here, but <laughs> there are there, there was some people who really loved that, that you couldn't heal as long as the troop is being touched by the Inferno Tower Beam. And there were many of us that thought that was a little bit too overpowered. So I think that we have a good balance now, but some people may disagree. Either way, let's, uh, let's smack this base. This base has a lot of loot right here, and it's a Town Hall 11. Why not celebrate the ending of Town Hall 9? By attacking a Town Hall 11 with an Earth, uh, uh, an Eagle Artillery. You guys down for that? I'm down for that. Alright, so Queen, get in the girl. And then, uh, do I need the Rage Spell? I don't. I'm good. Okay, so I don't, I don't need the Rage Spell. What I do need, though, is to watch out for... Here, let's actually drop a, a Wall Breaker and see what's going on. There we go. The, uh, the wall is busted through. And, uh... Man, I would love it if that sweeper wasn't there. That's going to pull the queen off. Maybe, I don't know, as soon as the archer tower is... Oh, snap. Okay, rage spell. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's drop the wall breaker down too, for fun, you know. But uh, I was really scared there for a second. There's a lot of DPS hitting that queen right now, man. I'm telling you. That is why you need rage spells with this char with this uh, queen charge. Because if not, that queen would have died a long time ago. So, okay, there goes the archer tower. I'm wondering if I could survive. Like, can the queen survive this two defenses only? I think it's three. I think once you get to three point defenses, that's when you need a rage spell. So just a heads up in case you guys are getting ready and prepared for doing some queen charges on your own. It helps really take the guesswork out. So, um, you know, if I were to rage again here, let's rage again. And I didn't get the, the healers in there because it's not really what I was trying to do. Okay, I got a few healers in there. What I was trying to do really was take up the Eagle Artillery before it gets a chance to wreck my hogs. Because they will, it, it, the, 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 the Eagle will do that. So let's do something like this. Let's get the King in there. I'm going to pop the Queen's ability here as soon as she locks onto the Eagle. Right there. There you go. And let's get the hogs in there now. Nice. All right. And what's in my CC? We got some, oh, Sneakies. All right. So we got some Sneaky Goblins. That's cool. Um, so check this out, guys. These hogs are gonna get it done. Unfortunately, they're not gonna be able to save the queen. I'm afraid the queen is, uh, is not gonna survive. Yeah, she's done. Uh, let's get the wizards in behind there. But, uh, this, this actually went really well, because it, being able to take out that eagle was uh, super clutch. Now, the big problem, though, is that now I don't think there's gonna be enough time. I think we used up a lot of our time trying to... To, to get this done. So let's go ahead and poison. I've got a lot of skeleton traps and let's get the sneakies and uh, send them in toward uh, this dark elixir storage. And I've actually got, you know, I'm doing pretty well with everything. Let's lightning down this, uh, this inferno tower at least. Um, I'm trying to survive at least through that inferno. It's not going to happen though, I don't think. Yeah, this hog, there's only one hog left. Look at that sneaky though. Look at those sneakies. Get that treasury, bros. Yeah, get that dark elixir. Okay, so we're definitely not, definitely not going to three star. Probably not even going to two star, to be completely honest. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, this wizard, if he's outside the range, no, it's not going to happen. Oh, the sneaky goblins are showing up, and they're going to get it done. Take out that town hall. Yes, do it. Yes, come on. Yes, <laughs> two star. That's amazing. And if I actually look, I, I wasn't really paying attention, but if you actually look at how much of the base is left, 68%. I've destroyed 68%. That means there's 32% of the base left on a Town Hall 11. I realized it was kind of a terrible Town Hall 11, but it was still a Town Hall 11, and I'm a 9. And we got 68% 2-star, 
basically all the loot. Like, I think I missed like 15,000 elixir or something. So that was awesome. That was, <laughs> that was a fun attack. I enjoyed that a lot. And unfortunately, my queen's dead. This next raid may be a bust, but it doesn't matter because I've got the loot that I need anyway. So I'm going to request for some CC troops. And uh, I guess while I wait for those, let's go check out what's happening in Builder Base. I haven't been playing Builder Base, so it's probably very far behind. Uh, let's hop into the... What can I upgrade? Ooh, Builder Barracks. Yes. Let's upgrade. Yeah, let's upgrade the Builder Barracks. Perfect. So now I'm unlocking the Night Witch. Unfortunately, it should have spent the gold first. <laughs> yeah, I should have spent the gold first. Um... Well, I'm, on, I'm not going to do a raid. I mean, there would be no point in doing a raid. I, I mean, I guess I could do a raid and get more elixir. That wouldn't hurt. Okay, let's do a raid real quick. I haven't done any builder base like this entire... In a, in a long time, I haven't done builder base. And I feel like it's time to make the comeback, right? It's time to bring back the, the builder. I, at least do it off camera, right? I haven't, I haven't even been playing off camera. I do want the sixth builder, right? Now, you guys remember from the very get-go, I was talking about getting auto, the sixth builder. So... Definitely going to be trying to get that done, even if it's not on camera. Because I realize a lot of people don't necessarily enjoy uh, Builder Hall content. I don't. <laughs> uh, but I do like the benefits of playing Builder Base whenever it comes with a sixth builder. That's huge. Like That that takes so much time off. You, you go from... Well, I'm not going to try to do the math. You just realize that having a sixth builder makes a big difference. So, okay, Battle Machine, you're not going to make it, are you, buddy? No, he's not. I'm going to take out this Tesla, and then that's probably all that we're going to get. Yeah, good try, though. Good try. Uh, 60, 74%, one star, not too shabby. And, yeah, this is going to be bad. Yep, he's already two-starred me, and it looks like it's probably going to be a three-star. Yeah, I'm out. I don't want to watch my base get destroyed. <laughs> uh, so, so never mind. Let's, let's just get out of here. That was not cool. Um... And I'm not going to even wait for Clan Castle. So we're just going to attack this base. This base. First search challenge, guys. I don't even I don't even know. I don't think this is going to go very well. But we're going to try anyway, okay? So uh, I'm going to do this the way I used to do this. By the way, I'm attacking this base specifically because there's no queen. That's a big thing. Uh, is there Clan Castle troops? Looks like there's not. I, I think that was close enough. So uh, I'm going to attack this base as if, like back in the old days, I used to do two-figure deployment. And what I'm going to do is uh, come in from an angle, just like so, and then get the healers in there. I'm going to save one of my healers. All right. Some wall breakers going through there. I've got my heals, and I've got some rages. We're going to go through the air defenses really quickly. Let's also poison over the, the king. All right, let's put another healer. And could I do that again? Yeah, let's drop another heal and another rage. I'm going to actually blast through the entire core and take out all the air defenses super fast. That way, maybe, just maybe, <laughs> our healers will survive. I don't know if they will, but I'm hoping that they do. Uh, they're only keeping a small group alive right now, and I keep hitting every sneaking. No, my last healer died. Dang it. All right, well, let's get a couple wizards over there at least. And yeah, look at that. They went, dude, they went like straight through the base. They went straight through from one side to the other. They didn't even clear the other side. Look, the bottom has a bunch of defenses. The top has a bunch of defenses, but the middle has none. That doesn't work really well for me. No, it really doesn't. Um, so this is going to be a very low loot grab, but it was fun. I actually genuinely enjoyed watching my hogs do what they just did. That was actually pretty fun. But yeah, because this group or this group of defenses survived. Yeah, that was like not good. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get to the town hall. There's like there's like no defenses around the town hall. Look at that. They gutted the entire core. Just didn't quite get it done on the outsides. Man, dang it. I probably shouldn't have overlapped my heal and my rage. I've I've always heard from the comments like don't do that, don't do that and I I like to do it. I, I, I enjoy the process of making things healed up, which makes them practically invincible and then raged at the same time. It's like, you know, they enter God mode or something, right? That, that's super fun to me. But uh, yeah, didn't work out, I guess. So uh, should we wait on this gold? Each shot is about a thousand, just under a thousand. So that's actually worth the wait, to be honest. You guys okay with waiting with me? Okay. We're about nine minutes into the video. Most of you that are probably still watching right now are the real MVPs, the real subscribers, the real viewers. So you probably already know this. 
but the gold pass expired last night. And if you guys are going to buy the new gold pass, then don't forget to use code Klaus. There's a link in the description to input that code automatically, but it's really easy to do. I'll show you guys at the end of the video, but just something to mention while we wait for, uh, you know, Tiny Betty to take out this gold. Well done, Tiny Betty. Proud of you. So proud of you. Very impressive, I have to say. Didn't take out the gold storage, though. That was that was unfortunate. But okay, so gold and loot and loot, not so good. But he did get nine trophies, though, which was pretty cool. So we passed 2,000 trophies, which uh, was a bit of a goal for me. So now let's go in and let's finish off everything. <laughs> so it turns out I'm super smart and forgot within like minutes of showing you guys how to input creator codes. So uh, I'm pretty sure you know, but in case you don't, go into your shop and look for the little white C at the top right hand side. If it doesn't have a green check mark, then you need to input a code. You click it and then this little thing pops up and then you type in the code. For me, you would use code Klaus. Uh, and then after you've had a code or if your code is still active from last time you put it in the last seven days Then you can see a green check mark on the white C at the top right you click in it'll show you who you're supporting So super cool super awesome and by the way these cyber specials are amazing So if you guys decide to buy any of these or or get some of these really cool skins or whatever Don't forget to use code Klaus back to the video All right, let's do the laboratory last so I'm gonna upgrade both of these spring traps I've got the gold and the bombs and there you go. And I guess just for, you know, for fun, let's move everything across. I was just thinking I don't really need to because I'm going to have to redesign my progress base anyway. But just to say that we've done it, right? Let's move everything across the map except for the town hall, right? So let's do, let's see. Let's put that back actually because I want to make sure I get a good view of this laboratory. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to finish off with 40 gems. I guess that 40 gems that worked out perfectly. 40 gems, finish off the Earthquake spell a little bit early. And by the way, yes, I did use two uh, research potions to knock off two days off of this because I, I needed to film this today. Um, and <laughs> that's the only reason. Otherwise, I didn't need to use those. I think I needed to use one to make it all work out well. Um, but I needed to film this today, so I just used two and it worked out. So 40 gems, knock that baby out, and then do the final lab upgrade. Two and a half day upgrade, 30,000 Dark Elixir. Bam. And that, my friends, will be the final lab upgrade. Next time you see this account, this town hall will be done. And I will have a town hall 10 account. It's three days from now. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. And this laboratory upgrade will be done. So the lab will be done. Uh, we don't have to try to disprove the theory that the upgrades pause. I've, I've disproven that d a dozen or more times on the channel now. So don't have to worry about that either. Everything will be done. We'll be 100% ready. Town Hall 10 coming soon. And it's perfect because remember, we started this account in uh, January, like January 1st of this year. And we're going to be Town Hall 10s at the end of the year. That kind of shows you like how much progress you can make if you casually farm an account. I haven't been like uber farming this account. I've been barely farming this account. I've been doing my, my best maintaining things, but life's been hectic. So... There you go. There's some perspective and there is the final upgrade of our Town Hall 9 Let's Play a Haste Spell because not a big deal, right? So I'm going to move this baby across and there you go, an empty progress base. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Town Hall 9 Let's Play. Uh, the support on this series has been amazing. That's why it's become my primary series. I know I've got other series that people have wanted me to bring back, but for now, this is the one that I'm focusing on mostly. And yeah, be looking forward to the Town Hall 10 Let's Play in three days. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you all next time.